हे एवरी वन आई मे कंश टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शोकेज अवर मेकर चिकर नोट अप्रूवल ऐप बेसिकली इट इज डिजाइन टू स्ट्रीम लाइन द प्रोडक्ट नोट अप्रूवल प्रोसेस विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो आई क्विकली सेट द कॉन्टेक्स्ट बाई यूजिंग दिस फ्लो चार्ट सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप्स वेन इट कम्स टू अर नोट अप्रूवल इज द इनिशिएशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट नोट बाई प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर इट सेल्फ सो एज अ प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर वी नो दट क्राफ्टिंग एंड रिवाइजिंग प्रोडक्ट नोट इज मोर दैन जस्ट अ टास्क सो इट्स अ वेरी स्ट्रेटेजिक प्रोसेस दैट रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ प्रिसीजन एंड कोलाबोरेशन एंड मेनी अदर प्रोसेस लाइक रिव्यूज अप्रूवल थ्री वर्क एक्सेट्रा and uh, once the product note has been initiated now it's time for the distribution of the note by the product manager to various stakeholders with an option for an interdependent or independent circulation based on their choice so interdependent reviews basically uh, where teams can sequentially review and approve the note so this is basically a structured approach that ensures a more comprehensive input from each team before it moves forward to the other team on the other side the independent review allows simultaneous feedback from multiple teams and it helps in promoting collaboration and agility in the review process so let's say once the review process has been done by the teams now the next step is uh, to revise the product note based on suggestions from the respective teams or just offering some kind of justification for not uh, incorporating any suggested changes so once uh, the revision of the product note has been done uh, the product manager is now required to seek approval from their uh, higher authority that uh, let's say it is national product manager after incorporating any suggested changes and uh, they have to submit the note along with its risk rating to the president of the relevant vertical once the uh, once this authority process has been done then it comes the final review part uh, that is done by the president and uh, unless advised otherwise by the president league or all the compliance team the next is the product manager is tasked with sharing finalized product note with product governance team for the safe keeping of the product now crafting a product approval app or let's say a note approval app requires a very thoughtful approach um, you have to choose a suitable app development platform designing the ui implementing a robust workflow engine defining user rules and it should have a hierarchical approval logic and document management system as well as mobile accessibility so developing it with the loco tools becomes quite easier and now we are going to see how you can develop this kind of use case with drone hq Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so in front of me, we have our Maker Checker Note Approval App use case ready, which is made using Drona HQ. And I'll quickly preview the whole app and uh, show you how it works. So the first part comes here is to log in. Uh, now, when you log into the dashboard, uh, it can be for anyone. It can be for PM, for national product managers, for any other team, IT teams, risk team, or anyone involved in the note approval process. So the first step was to initiate a product note. So for that. Uh, I'll log into a product manager's account. So once we are logging to a PM dashboard, now you can see all the data that has been incorporated in the last few days or months about any or other product note. Now you can see you can add a note here, and uh, here comes all the details that you have to fill to initiate a product note. So let's say we'll select a home loan as a product name, and we will give it a smart savings. planner a new product feature and uh, we can select from multiple drop down menus like it is a bug fix new feature enhancement you can also put your own options here now when it comes to product note uh, let's say the feature would analyze borrowers financial situation and income expenses and spending patterns now you can also select a launch date to it today 16 so we'll select the launch date of next month 16th of november now you have when you have filled every detail can click on next now it comes to the second step the second step is to configure the stakeholder detail that is a review process now you can select the review process from here whether it should be independent or dependent now let's select it should be a dependent process now in the dependent process uh, the next step is to select the departments uh, that you want your to get your product note approved from so let's say we'll select two departments here psg and irm now the one uh, special feature or use case you can say here is you can also select the department approval order you can just drag and drop this and let's enough the irm department will first approve then only it will go to the bsc department now from the bsc department and irm department you have the option to select the maker and checker both so let's select them let's see what would be the case if we select independent uh, rather than dependent so if we select independent approval nature let's say we select again the two departments now you can see there is a no approval order uh, drag and drop here you don't have any option to select the which department has to approve first because it will simultaneously go to both the departments irrespective of the order of approval 
once you have given all the details it's time to add the node and you can see your node has been added in your pm dashboard and you can see all the detailed information here once you have given all the details it's time to add the node now that we have selected the irm department in that uh, drop down menu and uh, the order list now let's check if anyone from the irm department has received this note or not so we'll just log out so farmin was the maker from the irm team so let's log into his dashboard and you can see that the note added by pm has been added to his dashboard and you can see all the details here now uh, you get an option to whether approve it reject it or give some suggestion so let's see the first use case that is approve so if he if he approve this and uh, now we will log out and uh, see what will be seen in the checkers dashboard of irm so cameron is a uh, checker for the irm team so let's log in to the account and you can see the note is also present in the dashboard and now you can see that it is showing that maker farmin has approved this product you can also see the details here and uh, you can see the maker status that is approved and we approved in the last step so now let's see our next uh, use case that is reject let's try to reject this note now log out from this irm dashboard and we'll try to log into bhg dashboard so let's see if uh, we can see those those details there so here maria is the checker from uh, bhg department so let's see if we if the product note is shown here or not now you can see in the bhg dashboard of maria there is no product note is visible that we had made because it was not approved by the irm department and as it was rejected by the checker of irm department now it should have again gone to the product managers review so let's check that as well you can see the product note added here and uh, when you view the details it will show you uh, the checker status as rejected now uh, as a product manager you can give some kind of justification on why you don't want to uh, take that feature ahead or why you want to take that feature ahead so let's just select the department that was irm and give some kind of justification like uh, the feature would be helpful for users now again it will go to cameron that has uh, rejected uh, the product note now you can see that uh, in the view details part some justification that we had given is visible now again uh, they have option to take the action if they feel like then now let's say if they approve it we can go we can update the status now once it has been approved by the irm department now it's time to see the approval and check the approval from the bhg department so maria is someone from bhg department so let's see if uh, the product note is now visible now you can see the product note is now visible at the bhg dashboard because irm has approved it now you can also check all the details here what uh, irm has done like uh, maker status has been approved checker has also been now approved and the justification is also been given here the same way now bhg department has the option to approve reject or give some suggestion so let's this time we'll give it some suggestion the feature should have more data centric features now when we will update the status this suggestion will directly go to the product manager so let's check the product manager's account now the product as you can see maria from bhg department has given this remarks now as a product manager uh, you can again select the department here and give some justification okay this will be added now again you can uh, go to the checker of bhg department or let's say the maker of bhg department now let's log into maria uh, who is the maker of bhg department who had given the suggestions about the smart savings planner product note 
Now on the maker's remark, the product manager had given this uh, justification. Okay, this will be added. Now you can approve this. And the last approval that it needed now is the approval from checker of BSC dashboard. So Richard is the checker of uh, BSC dashboard. Once the maker has approved this, now the checker will be approving the product. Now you can see some details here. Uh, like maker and checker of IRM department has already approved the product. The maker of VSC department has approved the product. Now it is left on the checker of the VSC department. And you can also see all the details. Now let we will also approve this. So let's approve and click on update status. So the product manager's product note has been approved by both the departments IRM BSC. Now we will see that it has gone to national product manager or now we will log into national product manager's account the npm dashboard and you can see the smart saving plan and product note has been visible here you can click on it you can view all the details what are the departments maker status checker status justification now from here you also have the authority to whether approve it rejected suggestions and uh, make it uh, move next forward so let's say if we will reject it then it will not go to the higher authority that is the president of product so we will first log into the president of product account to let's see if it is visible there or not as you can see the product note is not visible because it was not approved by the npm now let's see what the product managers has received from npm now in the uh, pm dashboard you can see that the status by npm has been added that he has rejected your project product now when he has rejected you can't take it forward so we will now log in back to the npm dashboard and make it approve as you can see what we had done last time is the only selected option so let's approve it this time so once the npm has approved it now you can see this in the president's dashboard as you can see that the note has been now visible to the president dashboard and you can also check all the details that has been made till now now we'll give the final approval Now the last step is to check if the product note has been received by the product governance team or not. You can see the product governance team dashboard has this product note visible. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, this use case should be really helpful to you and uh, if you want a more detailed information about this use case or you want to understand you can always connect with the team Rona HQ. Thank you.